Welcome to the Weird and the Weary. I'm Jason. With me is Kevin. Hey, everybody. And Lee. Big Daddy Kane was right. You're right. Yeah, absolutely right he was. How's everybody's week been? How's everything going with everybody? Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking stellar. Nice. I've been doing some nice. travel. Some travel. Ooh, yeah. travel. Land travel, no air. That's fine. Okay, okay. I don't feel like going through that shit. Work or play? Work or play? Work. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Yeah, the only play I get is having some junk food when I go back to the room. Nice. Nice. Okay, a little sugar coma, and then you're out. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the gas station's are the best. They have that two for three dollar candy bars and shit. And oh so yeah, got, king size. Got me some. Yep, got me some shareable peanut coated chips because I can't give any. You know. I'm not endorsing anybody. Oh, okay. But, you know, but also the hotels rip off. They wanted to charge ten fifty for a pint of ice cream. Was it really good ice cream? Nope. Well, then it wasn't no Magnum. Oops, sorry. Hey, you know, I, I mean, I bought a, a a pint. It was on sale because it was nine dollar ice cream, right? Fancy. It was on sale half off four fifty, mm-hmm. so which get, which it should have been. I bought pistachio. I figured, you know, why go vanilla? I like vanilla, mm. but. Why go vanilla? I like pistachio too. Let's try their pistachio. Always read the labels, people, because when I got home and took a bite of this pint, uh, there was no nuts. There was uh, pistachio uh, paste. So they put pistachio paste in it, and uh, it had like little lumps of these like peanut, you know, pistachio butter. Ugh. And yeah, it was awful. It you got was, the fucking oh. empty ball sack of pretty pistachio much ice cream. <laughs> empty balls. I like, no nuts in there. Yeah, man. I like I like <laughs> pistachio ice cream to chew on little nuts. You know, I like to bite them with my teeth. <laughs> sure, yeah, definitely. yeah. You're right. This is just the flat sack, no nuts, like like a fucking depressed dog who just got his shit cut. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this little flat sack and his little. No wonder his little it's on Billy clearance, out. man. Half off, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, half off. All right. <laughs> You know, you know it's better than half. Go oh, Two. Okay. Two. But what's so better? Than, but there's some better than two. Which is four. Right. And then, so, like, you got two arms. I do have two arms. Two legs. I do. Now you don't really need two of each to survive. You know, you can get on without one leg. It'd be hard. Or one arm. It'd be but you can, you can, you can adapt. Sure. You but know? I mean, but what if you had like extra? We have an extra arm. We have three arms. Well, I'd probably do a lot more stuff. Right? Like, well, do you even want to talk about the stuff you do with a third arm? Definitely. I would definitely be jerking off. Right. While I do anything. While you do everything else. (laughs) Right, yeah. Exactly. It doesn't even interfere. Right. And that's, yeah, that's a pretty good thing to do with a third arm, really. Uh, One one on the shaft, one on the balls, one left to do it all. I think you're going to get, you're going to, might get like a, uh, you know, your dopamine receptors burn out after a while. Or you just, your prostate just fucking shrivels up. I don't know. No, I think, I think you would be doubling up in that area with with regards to libido. I think that in order to feed that energy, Mm -hmm. you know, if the other arm can move around and do things and be mobile. You think we'll adapt. If yeah. if that happened, you want you want to experiment? Uh, yeah. Oh, like a human centipede kind of thing. So we'll just like put someone's arm on your side, whatever not, side not, you want. I'm not touching his anus. I'm just talking about like the dark. Why do you always go to the anus? The see, dark, this the guy dark always backward. Goes to the anus first, and then it's see. I start with the limbs. Like you work to the anus when the trust happens. Well, you'll it's like you'll, a relationship. You'll see why I just gave you that bit <laughs> later on. <laughs> later on in the anus. In the end. Well, you know, it it's all about really how much you care about someone, you know? So if you're not going to do anything in the anus, it shows that you respect them. I don't know about that, but okay. There are people that think you're being disrespectful if you don't explore. Yeah, why aren't you in my anus? Well, maybe there's something no... wrong with my anus, sir. <laughs> so many other people in my anus, my boss, my mom, my girlfriend, Jesus. Maybe, maybe love's not in the air. Oh, no. Maybe it's not in the air, you know? Maybe he, it, it's just not... There's not that much of a connection where he's going to do something to Uranus. All right. You know? But there is love in the air at all times. There is. Really, Kevin. You could you could benefit from this because you're, you know, I know you're worried about it. your anus. Yes. And the love your anus is going to receive. Right. Pray, pray, preach on. But, you know, it could be, it could be hate or sadness, too, on your anus, Kevin. Oh, no. My <laughs> anus feels the full gamut. The full gamut. 
Love can well up all these emotions, though. Hate, sadness, desperation, despair. And, you know, in this life, we, we, we know nothing is perfect. And, and humans have that uncanny ability to, to work with what they got. You know, you lose an arm. Yep. You just build a robot arm. Easy. Absolutely. Done. Done. 3D printer. Done. <laughs> that was easy. Why didn't people do that back in the day? Right. You played with Lego. <laughs> you got it all set. You just design your arm in Minecraft or something, right? Yeah. I don't know. Is that how it works? I, I think mean, so. You have to have at least two erector sets. Okay. And chemistry set. Right. Oh, I remember those. those Robotic arm thing yeah. with a little pinch. Crank pulley. So, yeah. Oh. So, you just kind of wind your arm up when you want to grab your coffee. You yeah, that seems fine. That's the problem. Uh, nothing. I'm okay with that. Oh, you can even do the, the uh, lever. Tonka truck, uh, you know, like scoop. I do, know, the, I do the... Like in uh, like Sandlot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the lever. You just pull the lever on That's your That's what arm. I was going to say. You can just adapt, apply it here with the screws. Right. Mm-hmm. And didn't mess with the, the nerves here, the tendons, and it can like... Shoo, shoo. Let nice. me pick that up for you. <laughs> you, know, you have to make the noise because it's not mechanical. Yeah, it's not mechanical. Like right. That. No batteries or anything. Uh, why are you making that noise? Shut up. It's Shut the up. aesthetic of it. <laughs> I love RoboCop. I identify yeah. as a cyborg. <laughs> why are you walking like that? It's on my license. <laughs> Robo. What? CP. Actually, yeah, that would fit. Robo Sapien? Robo Sap. Robo Sap? Robo Sap. What's up, baby? Robo Sap. Man, I'm half organic. No. <laughs> wah, wah. Robo Sap. <laughs> you can get it on a license plate. Oh, we could. Yeah, that'll fit. I'll chip in. What's your name, Herb? <laughs> Robo sap. But in life, <laughs> love and all things, there will always be a way to overcome in any inconveniences. Really, you know, it, 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 whatever problems you have, I mean, they're 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 there in the moment. Uh, it's not always going to be as bad as you think. But some inconveniences, they, they kind of wind up, uh, they'd be like a huge benefit, really, if you think about it. I mean, your third arm, Kevin. Yeah. If you had a third arm, we'd never see you again. Right. You'd be really sleepy all the time and uh, with a lot of chafing. Probably invest in some good hand cream, I would imagine. Right. Well, I mean, you guys can see me. I don't care. I'm not Oh, trying. you're right. Yeah. Actually, you'd probably have like a big pants so it doesn't even look like you're doing anything. Yeah. I would definitely live stream it, too. Just like, wait, stop looking at me, guys. Hold on. You can catch me on Chatterbait. (laughs) I won't get banned here. (laughs) How many tokens can I get, guys? But yeah, it could be. It could be. It'd be great. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably get a handicap parking spot too. Sure. Oh, this is a win-win. Right. And you might even get a job. You know, doing something else. You could be in a different show, masturbating in a like glass window, because you have three arms. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect. (laughs) It'd be like a peep show. Watch now is the masturbating Kevin and his third arm. Yeah, I can see it now. The Barker just tapping on the glass. You just turn around. You're already masturbating. Yeah. That's all you do now. That's all I do. Yeah, what do you want? Staring vacantly. This is an exhibition. Well, kind of is. <laughs> but in, you know, in that case, uh, we're, we're going to dive into the world of weird relationships and the spotlight being on Juan Bapista Dos Santos. The man with two blades and three legs. Ooh. And Blanche Dumas, a woman born with two pairs of breasts and three legs. Oh, that's one tricky puzzle to put together. Right. It's it's like... Uh, they were awesome at Twister. It's like a toy factory gone wrong. You know, like, oh, fuck, we melted these two Barbies together and this Ken is kind of... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. it's like Sid's toys from Toy Story. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Those, <laughs> yes. Definitely. But the two blades, you know, we got some imagination here on this show. You, you can kind of imagine what his advantage might be. Yeah, he's twice as sharp. Juan Batista dos Santos. He was born in Portugal, <laughs> <laughs> circa 1843, in the town of Faro. And he was examined six, at six months and found to have two functional penises. Two functional, and like. I don't know how do they test it. I don't even want to know how he tested that six months. That just kind of did he document. Well, that that was later. They just like hit it with a <laughs> stick. <laughs> no, no, actually, no. They they noticed the uh, urination. Oh, oh, yeah. Thanks. 
Because they both urinate it. Twin snakes, just yep. twin fountain. Just in there, like... Yeah, like those little <laughs> cherub fountains, like pissing Form, in the... In formed the, a heart. <laughs> right. <laughs> or like those mornings when you, you know, when your pee divides, you know, it just happens. Oh, now he's got a good excuse for it. Yeah, hey, you know, it's called getting old. So <laughs> Double handled. <laughs> uh, but these, yeah, these penises were side by side, you know, they wasn't like... Uh, <laughs> Well, generally, like uh, uh, like a second p- uh, appendage like that is malformed and, mm-hmm. and in a weird spot. You know, I, I, I've seen cases of people who like extra nipples, but they're on their side because, like, the nipple skin. You know, it's not like a full up nipple on on like you have on your breast, but right. they have like nipple flesh on their you know on their side. Yeah, just a little. It's like a nip. <laughs> it's not a full nipple. Well, uh, more like areola, just like a big patch of areola. Oh. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, but it's 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 the same flesh. You're talking about moles, motherfucker. It's not, no, no, no. I'm serious. Look <laughs> it up. Sure. Look it up. It, no, it, no, it, no. It it's fine. Happen. It's in the medical and third book. third nipple. Make sure you pluck it. You know, I'm gonna have that hairyola. But but generally, when when a when, when <laughs> third this, nipple from your anus. Right, like a hermaphrodite. Uh, generally, their their other organ doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? So like he had two, you know, he had the organs clogged. He had the two headed snake going on. You mm-hmm. know, he, he was almost Cerberus. If he had, you know, balls had a penis on it, too. That'd be interesting. <laughs> a little face. <laughs> <laughs> this rare genetic condition is called diphalia. Very original. <laughs> I got or that diphalia, yo. Penile duplication. Ooh, I like the sound of that way more. Not <laughs> not bifurcation, where they cut it in half. Oh, hot dog. Uh, it, it affects about one out of every five or six million boys, with only a thousand documented cases being discovered in 1609 by a Swiss doctor named Dr. Johannes Jakob Wecker. Wecker. Pecker? Pecker. Well, he knew about peckers. So maybe what was, is this? There's something wrong with this pecker. But <laughs> uh, he observed it on a cadaver, though, the first time. And he noticed an extra limb... That seemed to be from one leg to the pubis. That was, in fact, two limbs fused together as one. And uh, just a tiny little extra anus, Kevin. Ooh, does it work? <laughs> Speaking of fused together Ken dolls. I don't know. I mean, fused together. Oh, the little butthole, look. I mean, it was it was probably like squeezing out little mouse turds all the time. Just didn't even know. <laughs> oh, strange. Just in case he gets lost, he can follow him back. you got a tiny anus. You know, a little uh, uh, Pez coming out of it. <laughs> Look at that little pinhole. And the limb had no motor control, though, and it, it couldn't be used to walk on. Um, but it, uh, you know, probably gave that an illusion that it just had a giant fucking wang. Oh yeah, definitely mm-hmm. fucking tripod coming down the street. You're like, wait, this is the man with two penises, but I only see one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you don't even want to see the other one. It's like hyperdimensional. He was the inspiration for H.G. Wells' uh, World of World the tripod. Yep, yep. This is documented. Um, Look at the head on that thing. God. They were the Dos Santos aliens from Mars, right? I mean, yeah. Look at that thing. (laughs) There weren't too many of them, though. You might say he was the one and only. Oh. The one and only. Now, he had a customized swing for his his third leg. Not that. Not the third legs. The third leg. The fused leg. The one that had the tiny anus. So it was basically, yeah, it was basically like a Barbie doll fused leg. If Barbie dolls had anuses. Right. You know, um, they might even make an anus with a mistake like that. You know, the plastic melts together. Yeah, that's just natural. Yeah, it's just stuff I think about. So. <laughs> you think about some interesting things. But, yeah, it didn't move at all. It was just basically like a stump kind of thing, you know. Uh, the stump that could dump. Now, surgeons, they, they <laughs> wanted him to have surgical procedures and... Uh, after being exhibited in, in Paris, but it never happened. Um, you know, it's why would you get rid of your 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 qualifying feature? Yeah, man. If somebody wanted me to get rid of my second butthole, I'd be like, no way, no, dude. Like, <laughs> you can come kiss one of my buttholes, <laughs> right? Do you know the farts one's safer. that come out of that tiny little butthole? They save me from ripping big ones in public. <laughs> I'm just constantly blowing fart all day. I can alternate between the holes where I want the gas to go. And that's also a talent. I've got so many pitch variations now. Now, later in 1865, uh, he might have changed his diet, that butthole. That little butthole 
you think <laughs> you get some you get some like problems you eat something spicy and your little butthole yeah. gets fiery yeah that could be a problem because like how are you gonna get to your little butthole that's the overflow <laughs> right yeah that's where the real lava comes out oh, you know? no. like, yeah that's where the actual seeds and shit come out you know? shooting out little corn niblets one at a time hey one one Albano, why, why is the toilet so so big, so weird? That's my special toilet, man. Go use the other one. Uh, <laughs> fucking shit. But I think maybe the change in diet uh, coincided with this other examination report that stated he had an animal passion. Because when both buttholes are clear, you really want to be, you know, ready to go with your two penises. Right. The portholes must be open in order for the... Heads to pop. <laughs> the heads must pop. Wait. Did he just have two balls still? Yes. Okay. Yeah. He might have maybe had like a few balls inside of him. Right. Yeah, you know, just nesting, waiting to come out. I was scared. <laughs> but he had, he had a ravenous sexual appetite. And the report stated that he'd used both his penises during intercourse. Oh, Ooh. snap. He'd was been... he the inventor of the shocker? Well, <laughs> no, because he'd finish with one and then go with the other. So he was just like a uh, double barrel shotgun. Oh my god, Juan, that was incredible. If you could have gone I'm longer. not done, oh my shut god. up. Oh, Juan. <laughs> just slide over a little. He was probably he's probably the only man in existence who could say like no, I'm not I'm not finished. He puts the other one to sleep. Okay. Right. Yeah, he put it in the bed. Okay, now this one wait, go. Puts a little sleeping cap on it. <laughs> <laughs> Nightgown. <laughs> well, what a life though, man. I, you know, I guess uh uh I, I don't know. I mean, you know, the, the whole thing, like, the guy rolls over after he's done, like, he was just ready to shoot that other one off. Did he sleep longer than most guys? Uh, I don't know. No, he, he's... He just said, no. no. He just was ready to go ten minutes later. He's like, yeah, okay, he was, dick one's ready. Let's go. He was um, like, a, he was an animal. And yeah. then and then you think about it, by the time he was done with, with the second round, first round homeboy's ready and up and at him. He's like, up, oh, here we go. Insatiable. He now, did, that's what he calls the juggle. Well... Along with that, he also had a uh, he had a little method to his his third leg madness, tiny butthole and all. <sighs> he used that sling for some mobility, you know, get a little uh, little seesaw mm -hmm. up and down action. Pow! Penis one, penis two, penis one, penis two. <laughs> you know, that's just that was undocumented, right? I well, I I added it to the wiki. Go check, go check it. Go check it out. It's it's a, I'm not using now. Wiki for any more research. <laughs> they said the internet was truthful. It's all facts. But uh, yeah, I mean, the sling that bound his third leg to his 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 right thigh allowed some greater mobility. You know, especially on a horse's one as an avid rider. <laughs> hey. <-o>. <laughs> <laughs> Juan had been approached by circuses and sideshows, of course. You know, everybody wants to see a man with two dicks. Yeah, let me see that. Dick, let me see bro. your dick. Like, don't make this weird. No. You say that. Say, hey, Kevin, let me see your dick. No, okay. that's weird. Uh, it's too late. If you I was two, ready. If you, had, <laughs> you see, that's trust, though. <laughs> but if you had two dicks and I said, "Let me see your dicks," that wouldn't be weird. That would just be curiosity, right? No, right. Be, because the next thing would be like five dollars, please. Can I touch both your dicks for five dollars? Then is no. that does that cross the line, or yes. are you just showmanship? Is this boogie nights? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, you kind of have that Philip Seymour Hoffman shirt on, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Such an idiot. <laughs> Rest in peace, Philip. Uh, <laughs> Philip Seymour. But yeah, throughout his life. He turned all these down. Turned down 200,000 francs to perform in a French circus. Francs? How much is that worth in freedom? In freedom? About five, six bucks. Okay. Uh, at least fr French fries, right? Twenty nine ninety nine. Ooh wee um, But he did exhibit himself to medical examiners and, and special, special exhibits. Did you just air quote motherfuckers? Special. Two times the special exhibitions. <clears throat> or, you know, we don't know what the special part is. But we know it's special. It's special. Se well, sex exhibition. Let me tell you guys something. I got something <laughs> special to share with you all right now. Ooh. Oh, here we go. I love the sound of this. Let's go. Blanche Dumas. Oh, Blanche. Blanche 
All right, I'm thinking Golden Girls. Oh, uh, la mademoiselle. Right, that was Blanche Devereaux. Close. Yeah. Close. You're talking Golden Girls, motherfucker. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Always. yeah. Blanche Dumas. Now, since they were both in France around the same area, it would be unfathomable to think that they didn't meet at least once. Or more, who knows? You know, people get around. I mean, you got to be in that network. Like, look, I got two wangs. Everybody knows about me right now. You know, I mean, 1865, there's telegrams going out. Like, tick, 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 tick. You know, and then everybody's like, wow, holy shit, we got to go to fucking, we got to go. I got to see Got to go France. Got to go France see these dicks. Up up next, we have two dicks in France. If you want to get on this ride, you better get on it quick before it goes away. They're all exhibitions. They're all out there chanting, show the dicks. However you say it in French, show the dicks. I think they just say it like that in French. Show the (laughs) dicks. And yeah, they just want to see the two dicks. He wasn't performing. He's just just walking around on the street and they're just going like, show those dicks. Show those dicks. They're kind of fancy though, so they're probably like, show those Richards. (laughs) <laughs> Le Richards. Yeah. Le Richards. Show me the Louis. I don't know. I you know, I have no idea what they what they called his two dicks. But <laughs> but you know, you would you would imagine that these two had met being in a similar social circle. Mm-hmm. But we know there was a rumor of a brief affair between Blanche and Juan. Ooh. Now let's give you a little more info about Blanche. Yeah, why should I care about Blanche? Why? Well, she was a special gal. Ooh, okay. She's pretty special in her own right. Um. Montre-moi les deux bites. <laughs> Montre-moi les deux bites. Show me the two cocks. Nice. Montre-moi les deux bites. And it's two birds. So. <laughs> <laughs> Eat the two birds. Eat the ortolan. Show me your ortolan. <laughs> that was Blanche's special. Actually, this is why she's so special. She can eat an ortolan, but not with her mouth. Ooh. No, if you do that with the penis, then it's a one-off. Oh, she doesn't have a penis, though. Sounds like sounding. (laughs) Crunch, crunch. She was born on the island of Martinet in 1860 to a French father and mother who was a quarter black. And at 25, she was documented by Becklinger of, of Para Brazil of having a wider pelvis... Two imperfectly developed legs with a third leg attached to her cochagis. Did I say that right? Co- cochagis. Uh, it's the muscle of the pubic floor uh, with a pair of breasts close together above her pubic area. Two fully functioning vaginas and vulva with equal sensitivity. Wow. You'd think that she was just made to meet Juan Bapista. Yeah, that's... Serendipity, maybe. Right? Da, right. Da, da, da. I heard you were looking for me, Blanche. Blanche de Mas. Now, these details, they're all outlined in the anomalies and curiosities of medicine. In itself is an encyclopedia of uh, rare and extraordinary instances of me- in medicine. Yeah, this sounds pretty rare and extraordinary. Right. I, I think <laughs> this is where you get, like, those formaldehyde jar babies with the giant heads or, yeah. like, six heads or whatever the hell is going on. You know? I, I foresee Jack Palance in my head. Believe it or not. This child. <laughs> I, I pickled this child because it was <laughs> howling at the moon. Believe it <laughs> or not. He looked drunk as a he was always drunk <laughs> as fuck, yeah. Was... I'm going to push the earth out of its orbit. Watch. I shit Billy Gurden, Billy Crystal. <laughs> he said that at the Oscars. I think then he died, like, the next day, right, or something? I don't know. But... Maybe it was a curse. He shouldn't have said it. <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he went home and actually shit out of Billy Crystal, and it was just like, oh. And died, you know, just flattened right out. The Billy Crystal gave him all his power. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the shit Billy Crystal, just like, oh, it's too soon. You stormed the castle, you know, <laughs> <laughs> just fly, you know, dissolves down the toilet. He looks like he laid in the sun too long, and his face melted, and his cheekbones. Billy uh, Crystal? No, Jack Palance. Yeah, oh, okay. And what happened to Jack Palance when he shit out Billy Crystal? Yeah, what happens? It was in the Anomalies and Curiosities. Wow. Of medicine. <laughs> yeah, it's in there. It's like, it's a new addition to it. So, it's in there. Read it. Is that where Mike Wazowski came from? Yes, I think. Believe it. Or <laughs> no. not. 
That's where Harry met Sally, and that's the end of that. <laughs> well, she was known to be a bit of an entertainer in her, her time, having many, many male admirers. Woo-hoo! As you would imagine, there's a lot to go exploring upon. Uh, yeah, you can take your guests two at a time. Right. Uh, I mean, no normal man could really do much. You know, it's like, oh, I'm, well, I just finished one vagina. I, I'm going to bed. You know, that's it. Oh, yeah, she's right. She's a lifetime of disappointment. Right. Like her, her vaginies were unbalanced. Is that the right term for double vagina? Vagina. Vagina. Her vagina were unbalanced. <laughs> vagina. She's probably very depressed about that, I would think. You know, having two vaginas that function well. Full sensitivity. Your 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 entertainers are just they're not. You know, you, you can't tell them which one you prefer, which vagina you prefer, right? Does she have a stronger one, like right. a right hand, left hand situation? That's the thing. Maybe her suitors were using only one. That's the wrong the one. Closest one. You know, like oh, that's the closest one. Like any guy. You know, this is a shortcut. Okay, well that's the closest <laughs> vagina. Let's use that one, and you know the other one's just neglected the whole time. Well, there was a thing uh, that I read that um, doctor was like, would you be um, surprised if you had known that you had a child in the one side and miscarried or whatever? She's like, no. No. I would say if it was on the left side, yeah, because I guess the one side was definitely uh, productive. The other one wasn't. Oh, okay. But it was still Oh, so she functional. had a, she so had a one, bi- one, business vagina and a... No, no, she did both, but she had a vagina. particular one. Like, Okay. Because she's like, you know, they said, you know, on the right side, would you be surprised to know that you may have carried a child and miscarried? And she's like, no, I would have been more likely to believe you if you said the left side. Mm. Well, when I went to see her, because I know I would have definitely gone to see this this woman, I would have just walked in, flipped a coin in the air, and then, like, call it, you know, (laughs) and there we go. That's my vagina for the day. Right? I mean... And you find out it's... What? Here in the armpit. Well, no, no, no. You're not going to deviate from your two vaginas. You're going to let me pick the two. They're going to be right there, yeah. She, right. I think what it is, she, I don't want she armpit absorbed, or, or back of the knee. She absorbed That's the secret twin. one. Yeah, that's the one that people get raided at massage parlors for. You got to believe. <laughs> <laughs> got to believe in my knee. Okay. Uh, well, I, I don't know. I mean, I would... Probably say if you're going to use the non-productive vagina most, that would be unwise. You'd probably want to bounce between the two, I guess. I don't, I, you know, I don't have a vagina. I can't speculate. Got to give the even, vagina a rest. I don't even have one, let alone two. Right. I mean. I heard you got three. You're right. They each have their own pair of legs. And those are nipples and, and arms. So he's going he's gonna to get that arm. I would just walk around like a spider. <laughs> now, since these were... Uh, profoundly unique and glorious renowned penises <laughs> that Juan Bautista had. Blanche was very much interested in meeting. And after hearing of his nature, it would only be natural to assume that they met up. Now, although there's no document of a long-standing romance, it is rumored that Blanche and Juan and did meet up at least once to perform the eternal dance of the beasts with seven backs. <laughs> that's what they do. Right. It's not the two backs. No, they got a lot of backs happening. Yeah, there's all sorts of wild new positions they right. can do. I mean, the the, the love making must have been just incredible. You know, like simul. You know, he's doing some simultaneous shit. You know, he'd been experimenting with that before. Well, what did we say she know. was? Uh, it, it said she was uh, 28, 25 when she started getting the documentation. Mm-hmm. Now, at this point, you know, she's seen a lot of men, and uh, she's probably, like I said, she's probably completely unsatisfied at this point think about it like you have you know two, i don't think two so, sex though. organs look man if you had two penises and then you're like oh i just used then then you're gonna be eventually in your 20s you're gonna be like because you're gonna start fucking when you're like 10 or something because you have two penises you know whatever whatever no, they but, did. but but whatever you'd be they afraid did you'd be afraid though you'd be afraid though at a at, at, at younger age because well okay something like so that could totally old, scar a kid well fuck them up you're gonna get good at fucking anyway because you have two dicks and that's your fucking legacy but yeah. you got lucky and they don't always think about work. it think Sometimes about it they though. don't both work think about it though you're using your two dicks yeah mm-hmm. yeah i finished this one here's the act blah 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 it's like i want to finish at the same time both of them at the same time. Mm-hmm. I can only do that to myself right now, like a cow. But <laughs> if I, if you know, 
If there was only just I a woman. i got to alternate. I can't really get the synchronization. Right. If I've tried to put them both in, I, I killed a woman once. You know, this is this is a, this documented. Kill the woman, both of them inside one. It, yeah, it's horrible. But you know he thought there has to be a woman out there for me. There has to be. Yeah, he's probably like making a wish upon a star. I can see a whole Disney song coming out of this. Oh, this is like Samuel Jackson looking for Bruce Willis in Un- Unbreakable. Yes. Pretty much. If there's someone like me, there must be someone like you. Except we join together like chocolate and glue. But the, the, <clears throat> like, but if, if conception occurred between these two, it would remind me of like some basket case shit. Like, you know, like basket case. <laughs> the second basket case where there, there was the Blyle there at his little breeding session. You might oh, not know what we're talking about. No, I have no all idea. Right. What this is all about. right. All right. Okay. That's you will good soon. One. Okay. No, no, but wait. You, har. Oh, but that, come on. That's the campiest, dumbest shit. It's not even scary. Doesn't matter. It's not even scary. It's not even scary. I guess. <laughs> it's alive. It's Muppets, bro. How about it's alive? <laughs> no. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Okay. <clears throat> now, as riveting as that might be, because it's you know, there's no documentation. I think it happened. I think I think there's a meeting. I think there's some some happy quattro fort play. There are people that are like, listen, if we had pay per view and all these things invented, we can make so much money showcasing this around the world. Yeah, if they had tickets for that, I'd buy that for a dollar. That was a, that could have been a special exhibition. Well, I mean, look at Total Recall. We were fascinated by the woman with three breasts. This woman had four, albeit two of them were, you know, pretty much above her crotch. But that's fine. Like, uh, I mean, my grandmother got there eventually. So the arms don't get as tight when you're down. Right. You know, that's the other thing. Like, yeah, um, you can get creative with, uh, you know, which which pair you want to 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 caress while you're trying to please her because you only have one penis. It's like a climbing wall of love. <laughs> no, no, no. You keep finger. You keep your finger out of the other one. It just knows nothing. Yeah. You yeah, try this. Watch this. Do this. Oh my God! I'm in heaven. <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough most men can't find the clitoris. Now she has two. I'm telling you, this woman was deeply unsatisfied until she met Juan. <laughs> telling you. I'm telling you. No, she. There's gonna be a secret like diary come out like in some wall one day, and they'd be like. Wow, it's the four boob tube vagina diary. <laughs> it'll be, it'll be some, looking for hundreds of years. Some American will find it when he's vacationing out there. Look what I found on Antiques Roach. <laughs> Fucking Kyle is out there. He like punches a hole in the wall. <laughs> I'm all hyped up on this monster. Oh, look what's this? Four boob tube vaginas. Yeah, and then he cracks open another monster. Yep. Monster. Like and subscribe. <laughs> It was noted in the aforementioned ima- <laughs> anomalies and curiosities of medicine of another case dated in January 9th, 1529, of a male infant living in Germany with four legs, four arms. It's going to be on you like spider monkey. Now, this, you know, you can might learn something from this kid. Because you want, I mean, you're only going to go with one extra arm. Mm-hmm. This kid went all the way. Right. Like, he's showing you up already, and this was, you know, centuries ago. God, his cartwheels must have been so smooth. Oh, yeah. Like, Otto, Otto Octavius. Actually, all I'm seeing is, like, some backwards walking fucking monstrosity shit. I don't know why I'm picturing that. Like, like the Exorcist deleted scene where she's going down. Oh, you never saw that. Spider I saw walk. the Exorcist. Oh, you did? The, where she spider did the spider walk. walking yeah, down the stairs? Yeah, it's creepy. Yeah, and the blood it. comes out of her mouth. That's what this infant probably did all the time. You know, just puke blood, spit. You know, as much Lightning. as I know of the 1500s, that sounds right. Yeah, you know. I mean, because it would rain like flesh sometimes. Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah. I, I think they killed it with fire. Probably. Probably. I mean, yeah. back then, Germany, they're like, no, this is this is a bad sign. Right. You know, and like, just threw it up on the Beowulf blade, up on the cathedral. <laughs> they, <laughs> like with other babies in Sparta. You're tired of your forearm baby, just drop it off the belfry onto the knife, onto the sword and the wall. It's okay. It's a dark <laughs> shit back then. And in Paris, at the Académie des Sciences, in September 6, 1830, a male had been presented another child with four legs. The anus... <laughs> 
The anus being nearly <laughs> below the middle of the third buttock. With the scrotum between the two left thighs and the testicles not yet descended. Scared. Now, tiny anus or anus on the on the gooch. <laughs> like, that's going to be really messy going to the bathroom. Or really convenient. I don't know. You can just stand with your legs Oh, no. I hope that one is non-functional. You're just like, <laughs> it's just sewed up. It's like a belly button. Don't worry about it. Come <laughs> oh, out oh this anus? It just pulses when I get excited. That's all. <laughs> Like like a dog, you know, when they bark. Yeah. I have four dogs, so I see them, their anus. I see so much dog anus. Hey, Jason, your your, your little uh, anus is leaking. My, oh, it is. It's yeah. weeping. And it's in my armpit, too. Ooh. You know, it's... Oh, so you have to, like, one use on dog deodorant. <laughs> yeah. Playing, like, gym <laughs> class growing up was really tough, you know. Uh, it's like, what's that smell, man? You know, and I'd have to like put my hand on my little weepy anus in my armpit. But you could do the awesome um, underarm fart noises, except they're real farts. Oh, I didn't even have to cut my <laughs> hand. I'd be like, check this guy, you know, do like the chicken wing thing. And yeah. be like, frap, frap. Oh, that's I awesome. Got it filled. It, it's, what's that fucking smell, though? <laughs> I, got it, I got it filled. It's filled with uh, uh, glue. I just filled it with hot glue. So, oh, nah, I got you need sick some, of it. You need some fucking gorilla glue. Oh, no, it's still in there. The hot glue. It's just kind of, it's, it's malleable. It's in there like pencil lead from grade yeah. school. There's some other lumps <laughs> around it now, but it's all right. It'll be okay. I remember that shit in school. Like, don't get that in your skin. You get lead poisoning. Yeah, okay. Fucking right. stupid fucks. It's graphite from Chernobyl, so you're fine. <laughs> you're just going to grow extra appendage, asshole. We did get a lot of pencils around Chernobyl. You know, a lot of dare pencils. Maybe those. Let's get rid of that graphite somehow. Make some fucking glowy pencils. Perfect. Hey, Mom, my pencil's glowing in the dark. It's not labeled on the box. No, I mean, the tip no of the frill. pencil is fucking glowing and burning my paper. Boy, I'm testing you for drugs. Go to bed. And then they all died of cancer. <laughs> they did not test Rapid anything radiation. that next day. They were dead. The end. Well, this is really interesting, though. Uh, it's kind of frightening, though. These, these fucking multi dependent children. Uh, climbing on your body and then you know biting your throat out that's what they do but i think what we need to do we it's, need to do a uh, episode on uh what is that was siblings kill each other what's that called uh, uh something aside hermicide i don't know i, I don't know like what what are they what are the Frat, fat is a fratricide i think so is that what the court said when you tried it kev Yes. Yes. That's what it was. Because <laughs> sorry, bro. Right. I, nobody's ever found my brothers. So, oh shit. So, so nobody. I don't. I never knew what the term was. Right. I, I just killed them. <laughs> Hypothetically. Right. Yeah. Totally. Fratricide. Fratricide. Yeah. You did it. Killing of a brother or sister. Yeah. Like Cain and Abel. You know mm -hmm. that shit. The original. The OG fratricider. I definitely thought you said Keen and Abel. And oh, I was like, right. Is that like Keen and Kel? No, it's not OG. It's just OF. No, like Keen the singer. Original fratricider. Really sad. Not really sad. Who's Keen? <laughs> Commander? I don't remember Keen. Commander Keen. He's coming back to mobile. Oh my God. Oh my yeah, God. I saw that. Did you see that crap? Like, yep. not to like go off topic, but that was like, that E3 was like so bad this year. It was really bad. <laughs> poor, poor Beth, Beth said, poor Beth Soft, man. But at least we get Last of Us 2 2020. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be a good year. It's going to be a good year for games, just not for Bethesda. You know, it's just going to be kind yeah, of Yeah, man, fun. you got Luigi coming, Luigi Mansion 3. Let's right. Do it. They're just giving up on the names, Nintendo, right? Yes. Like, so it was like... They gave up on everything a while ago. Waluigi, yeah. Gu Gooigi. Yep. You know what's going to be next? It's going to be like... Google Kakakigi. Lili G. It yes. to be like, it's the new Mario Brothers, but it's a girl. Oh, what? Or Gigi. 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 I, think that, I think I tweeted that the other day. Actually. Gigi. That's why I said it. <laughs> no, Gigi. Gigi. I think that would be cute. She has a little puppy. But it's a girl. It's the Mario Brother girl. It's Mario sister. That's yeah, when, when are they going to do that? No, they should have, you that, know what? They should have the daughters. I'm, they should be like the daughters. It's called oh, the Mario. Oh, so you're saying that Mario and Peach fuck? I that bitch I'm, doesn't give it up. I don't know. Oh, thanks for rescuing me. Now I got to go ride a star up my butt. I don't, I don't know about She's this She's here fanfic. for Bowser. 
I know nothing of this fan fiction. She's, always hitting, the, she's always hitting the fucking dragon on the side. Okay? Yeah, and then the, Mario shows up. He's like, what the fuck? She's like, oh, yeah, I got kidnapped again. Saved. Can't that, believe that'd be it. great. That'd be great, though, seriously. The Mario brothers, their daughters, their cousins, their, their nieces, they're working together. And they're all interbreeding. And, they all, and then eventually Mario has two penises, and it's a whole new era. We'll all be long dead. A whole new I don't know what world. just happened, but I kind of like it. It's called <laughs> Evolution. Get used to it. Yeah. But then don't get used to it because it's changing. Yeah. And it's evolution. It, every, it's Mario revolution. Every few millennia. Nice. Yeah. So maybe that might be a thing one day. You Mario know, like if, if we could travel through time, go, you know, 100,000, million years. Yeah. It's like everyone has two penises, male, female. You know, everybody has two vaginas. Everybody just fucks themselves. It'd be the nice. best fucking world ever. So when you go up to somebody like go fuck yourself, they do it right there. I'm on the doing. Spot. I'm already. I've been doing it since this morning. Do you want me to do it more? I'm always balls deep. Right. Yeah. I'm just I'm go just f- go fuck yourself. Thank. It'd be like the new. Have a good day. Yeah. I'm just soaking it in there all day long. My it's like a sits bath, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's some crazy oral burrow shit right there. Hey, it's you know people have fetishes. It happens. Death Stranding. I'm I'm all about. Did you guys get the collector's edition with the baby? Man, yeah, yeah. I had no hundred thousand bucks or something. No, no. It was like uh, I don't want one fifty two hundred. I don't. I, I don't hundred. I don't need any more. I don't need gimmick. You don't need a life size baby tube. I respect your collection. Like I, you know all this cool shit that you have. Like yeah, your, I don't. Your PS shrine. Your you know all that neat stuff. All Thank your, you. You know I like that shit, but I personally I can't do it anymore. Like I used to collect all that stuff. You know, I'd buy the collector's edition to make sure I got... Like, right. Well, remember that our friend of ours, uh, Lee, who bought the Call of Duty collectors that came with the fucking RC car? Oh, my. You remember that shit? Yes. That shit was like $300 for a shitty piece of crap RC car, and you I had like a spend camera half on that it. You got in the gas one. That was way better. Yeah, it was fucking ridiculous. But, you know, like, I just... Yeah, I don't know. No, I didn't. That's All the right. end of my rant. Okay. That was ad, right? What's that? That was yeah, yeah, a day, yeah, a day, yeah. a day, a day, a day, a day, a day, a day. What? Why are you so cross? A day, oh damn! <laughs> Getting cross with me, bitch. I don't know. I don't want two penises. I, 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 you know, it's hard enough managing just my one penis. I want two penises. Think about. All the thoughts you're gonna have because like you know, men think with their dicks. Yeah, I'm gonna think so much more. This is the shortcut. Will, to... will you be the first true male genius? Yes. With two penises and yep. three arms. No, but see the thing. The problem with that is that you would have to have all your pants customed. Sure, sure. All the ballroom, you know, because you know <laughs> all the ballroom. Juan was all about the balls. Some serious dancing in that shit. Yeah, those. Yeah, they're like little fucking ballerina legs just swinging around all day, like yeah, a forty inch inseams. Like imagine a marionette, <laughs> like like a marionette puppet, like on a train just swinging. Yeah, like yeah. that's what his dicks. Look no, like. no, but it doesn't have joints in the dick. No joints moving. So it's just, why it's do you really... know? Did you touch them? I may have dreamt of it. It might have been like ankle pants. Putting the bone in boner. You fucking love ankle pants. <laughs> I do love ankle pants. Fucking boiler room <laughs> motherfucking yeah. ankle pants. Shit, that hey, shit, man. Yeah, that would be creepy to see if you like it tripping was, balls. Yeah, it was creepy to see, but the, the music's pretty good, though. But it's creepy to see. Every time you say ankle pants, I'm just thinking like capris so you can show off your ankles. Oh, yeah, baby. Space oh, pants. Man. It's time. <laughs> it's time. I'm going to go look for some, actually. You, want, you know, We can go talk about what we were talking about earlier, about the gold crap. Yeah. Anus thing. Right. And then uh, we'll go look for some capris. Culottes are back, I hear. I Gauchos. Mean, culottes. I don't even know what these things are. I have Gauchos? so much to learn. Gaucho, baby. Gaucho. Cap- capris are... I know the, of capris. Uh, I don't know about... Capris are... Gauchos are big capris, but also a gaucho is a uh, uh, Latin cowboy. So mm. so he's got uh, assless chaps. Right. But right. Kulaks, those those were the prototypes, the the primordial capris, because oh, okay. they were like big and floofy. Like think a uh, a thin suit now, yeah, zoot suit back then, nice capris now, yeah, Kulaks back then. Kulaks are the zoot suits of capris. Everything yes. I said Got about it. those coming back, that was a damn lie, because all women just wear leggings now, so it's just the uh, you know it's easy. 
Me too. I wear Praise leggings. To the leggings. So, but those are classy leggings. Those are jeggings, Kevin. They Thank look you. Like jeans. I only wear the finest. Even the rivets look real. But if you touch them, they're fuzzy. Ooh. It's amazing. Yeah. Hey, you don't want to be bumping in the hard shit and having the stuff fall off. You want to just be soft. Bling. Right. Juan had that problem all the time. Yep. Fuck, I hate these sharp edges. Oh, man. The morning wood would be awful. Oh, jeez. Two of them combat it. You're like, you're fucking sword fighting yourself every morning. What if they got twisted up when they get like, oh, soft? I am sorry. I could not make love to you tonight. I bruised the tips of both of them. <laughs> they were bad boys. They started spanking like dogs biting each other. <laughs> it's like, oh. Okay, I'm just gonna go home then. You know, like, whatever. He's trying to like sleep on his stomach. He's just like oh! up, propped up in the morning, right? Yeah, you know, oh yeah, like a <laughs> like a kickstand. Yeah, you know, like a like a scooter kickstand, <laughs> like a little moped kickstand. I was just thinking like a big long cover for like a driver of a golf club, and just put it on each end. Like like All you right. put on like the feet of the turkeys. That's mm-hmm. good. That's and good. The chickens they had the white. I mean, that's how, you get, that's how you get away with uh, going in the buff at the beach. You just put a sock on your cock. <laughs> Is that what you do? You can put a sock on your cock. You don't need to put it on your balls. Just your cock. Your cock can't be around. Cock is obscene. Cock balls is obscene. are clean. Just like female. The balls female, like two eyes. Female nipples are obscene. <sighs> yep. But male nipples are not. Mine are. Yeah. I don't want to see your I nipples. I find male nipples to be very offensive. Right. Some men have, like, those super small ones, and you're like, that's fucking weird. Yeah, I'm here for the milk duds. Right. I want to see the big fat nips, but that's just when I look at the mirror anyway. So I want to see more like what I got. I don't want to see, like, little beady eye nipples. Representation matters. Right. If you're at the beach and you got, like, shitty nipples as a man, X mark those shits out, okay? Just put some tape on them. Cover those little weird... Inbred looking little fucking nipples. You guys don't keep stockpiles of edible pasties? Uh, I used to, yeah. but I have what? so much hair on my chest. Ice like, lemon I, cookies? I haven't seen my nipples in seven years. Ice lemon cookies. Isn't that what pasties are? Um, no, they're the fake nipples. The little, mm. like the little covers they, that look like Yeah. I mean, I guess you could always call them pasties. You can get them flavored if you put your stuff on them, I guess. Your own flavoring. But. Ooh. Flavored All underwear, extra material to work right. with. It's easy to coat everything. I'm a fan of tassels, and they should have made male nipple tassels, really. Because why can't men have the fun of like swinging the tassel? They they do. They do. Yeah, they've always had tassels for men stri- male strippers. Well, my fucking birthday just passed, so that's unfair. But whatever. Mine's still coming up. Oh shit. And you don't have weird nipples, so... Here comes Dirty 30. Let's get some nips covers. Oh, you're hitting 30? Yep. 30. Oh, shit. Shit, man. We'll get you, like, the three O, you know, for each nip. Thank you. And then the big, longer tassels, because you're older now. Oh, yeah, because they, they, they droop now. Right. Yeah, right. and there's going to be some... Gravity Gravity's going to get you I'm in getting a little you, bit. I'm getting you a pair of those elephant trunk underwears for you and your lady to have some fun. Yes. We got the little... The, the he's going to put the, he's gonna put them on, and okay. she's going to laugh her ass you off. Put your penis and, into and the sock. tell you to go away. Well, that's <laughs> Put your much, penis into the trunk. That's pretty much what happens anyway. Oh, okay. And then you have it raised up, and you go... Wait. Are you saying, like, your penis looks like an elephant? Yep. Whoa. Yeah, that might be dermatitis. I don't know. Uh, no, that's cool. <laughs> and if you want to do some little extra, have little strings on the ears on the bottom, you just tuck it out of view. Yeah. You Boiler. Just have them flap. Kevin has actually had a third arm the whole time. That's why that thing looks like an elephant's ass. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, Gundog calls for aid. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take Kevin to the clinic, get him some, some cream for that elephant ass uh, chafing he's got going. I like it. Hey, I know you do, but... <laughs> Look, man, it's going to turn into something else. Chill out, elephant man. Yeah, come here. No. Come here. Stay away. Stop it, I don't want to feel that beard anymore. It's touching your neck. It's too hot for this. I'm sitting, like, way across <laughs> from you, and it's still touching your neck. It's so fucked up. It's like, like a Skittles sense. commercial. Ever since that day. Ever since that day, it's just like I always feel your neck on my beard. Oh. Sensitivity 100. <clears throat> Take that shit to the next level. Be good to yourselves. Be good to everyone. Catch us online www.weirdandweary.com Twitter Instagram Places like that We don't have any dick pictures on our website Yes We don't have any you know pictures of vaginas on our website But We have this story we just told you about both So if you want to hear about them You can totally 
tune in. Yeah, you anytime can, you want. You can play it over and over again. If you want. Ooh, that's right. Make us your daily rotation. <laughs> Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Yeah, and if this is your first episode, why don't you go back and listen to how we've matured? Good stuff. As always, I'm Jason. I'm Kevin. And I'm Lee. And remember, if you're out there and you feel alone, you're not. You're never alone. There's always someone to talk to. There's always someone out there that'll talk to you, talk to us, anytime you want. You're never alone. And don't forget to talk to yourself sometimes. Just make sure not a lot of people hear you. You may think you're a little off. That's okay. That's it's what okay. people keep telling me. I'm like, right. yeah. keep people away from me. Sometimes people got two penises. I got two personalities. Right. <laughs> and actually, if you want people to stay away from you, just tell them I got two penises. You want to see? And they will definitely stay away from you. I don't know. Some people might. Some people might actually somebody throw came money up, at you. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, here's a dollar. Hey, I got two penises and as many personalities as there are days in the week. Try me. <laughs> okay, James McAvoy. J.K.L. Mania. Jekyll.